What is this? How we can define electromagnetics is EM electromagnetics. So EM is a electromagnetics is a branch of physics. The branch of uh, physics or branch of uh, electrical engineering electrical engineering in which electric and uh, magnetic phenomena or studied like this we can define uh, electromagnetic so this is a branch of physics in which we will uh, particularly study about the uh, electric and uh, magnetic phenomena generally charges at rest charges at rest induces electric field e field charges in motion in motion induces h field time varying field time varying fields then the em field electromagnetic so charges at rest with respect to only space function of x y z only charges in motion x y z only time varying fields x y z comma t this is em fields so this is the entire concept so charges at rest we will study charges in motion we will study so combined we will study when the field is varying with respect to time some of the applications applications of uh, em that is uh, applications of electromagnetics is in the field of uh, microwaves antennas satellite communication and uh, remote sensing etc we have plenty of uh, applications of uh, electromagnetics so to study all these microwaves or and now satellite communication remote sensing thoroughly we need the basic uh, concepts of uh, electromagnetics then what is the difference between uh, em field theory and uh, circuit theory so if you observe circuit theory circuit theory circuit theory mainly deals with voltages and currents voltages and uh, currents that is uh, v and uh, i voltage is and uh, voltage and uh, current whereas em theory electromagnetic theory it is uh, deals with electric field e and uh, magnetic field magnetic field h magnetic field h in our coming discussions we will prove that v is equal to integrated effect of e dot dl and i is equal to integrated effect of uh, h and dl v is equal to integration e dot dl and i is equal to integration h dot dl we will prove this thing in our coming discussion so they are interrelated that is both circuit theory and em theory are interrelated so we can say that uh, circuit theory there is uh, nothing but uh, integrated effect of em theory 
integrated effect of EM theory. That is, both voltages and currents are integrated effect of E and H. Integrated effect of E and H. Generally, suppose if you take a circuit uh, which is uh, lumped circuits, suppose uh, lumped circuits uh, that is very low frequency lumped circuit, the entire analysis is with respect of uh, V and I. Suppose if you go for some high frequencies, uh, what happens is it is uh, not possible directly to calculate uh, voltages and currents uh, because of uh, phase varyings, because of phase changes. So there uh, we have to calculate, uh, there or there the analysis is based on uh, electric and uh, magnetic fields. Electric and uh, magnetic fields. So generally the circuit theory is for low frequencies and uh, at high frequencies the entire analysis is based on E and uh, H only. So voltage and current are nothing but uh, integrated effect of electric field and uh, magnetic field respectively. Or uh, circuit theory is a more simplified form of EM theory. Circuit theory is a more simplified form of EM theory. Uh, field theory or EM theory is very difficult when comparing with the circuit theory. The reason is in EM theory large number of uh, variables are involved for calculation. We can prove all the theorems in circuit theory by using EM theory also. But the derivations are lengthy derivations because more number of variables are involved. So both circuit theory and EM theory are interrelated. So voltage and currents are nothing but integrated effects of E and H only. So concept is vector analysis. vector analysis. What is this vector analysis? Actually, vector analysis is a mathematical tool it's a mathematical tool to express EM concepts. So, to express EM concepts mathematically, we need a tool. So this vector analysis is a tool which, uh, with the help of which we can represent uh, the EM fields. EM fields. Generally, a quantity, if you consider a quantity, a quantity can be either scalar or vector. All physical quantities can be either scalar or vectors. What is scalar? Scalar means, how we can define scalar is, a scalar is a quantity, a scalar is a quantity which has only magnitude which has only magnitude at any location in space at any location in space for a given time that is in free space at any particular time if you consider the quantity has only magnitude value Suppose for example, mass 20 kg, 30 kg, like that. Distance 15 kilometers, 20 kilometers, like that. Temperature 25 degrees centigrade temperature. And uh, electric potential. It is also voltage, known as voltage. So, 2 volt per meter, 3 volt per meter, like that. Time, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, like that, etc. So, these are some examples of uh, scalar quantities. Similarly, vector. 
how we can define a vector so a vector is a quantity a vector is a quantity which has both magnitude and direction both magnitude and direction in space at a, at a given time at a given time so it has a magnitude as well as direction also so some examples are velocity so 2 meters per second in a particular direction 2 meters per second in x direction 2 meters per second uh, suppose uh, for example the train is moving with uh, 100 meters per second in each direction like that so velocity force electric field intensity electric field intensity e. so electric field intensity is a 3 volt per meter second in x direction like that so here it has magnitude as well as direction so vector is a quantity which has both magnitude and direction in free space at any given time so some examples are velocity force electric field intensity to distinguish or uh, to have a difference between uh, uh, vectors and uh, scalar quantities uh, we will uh, represent like this generally suppose the uh, scalars scalars are uh, represented by suppose a comma b only magnitudes vectors if you consider vectors vectors are represented by a bar b bar so this bar indicates uh, direction this is bar indicates direction b is magnitude so scalars are represented by only capital letters a comma b or vectors also can be represented by with the capital with the bold letters a the bold letters a b like this bold letters so it is very difficult to write like this so in our discussion we will write like this that is a bar b bar to so just to have a uh, to distinguish what is a scalar quantity and the, what is a vector quantity so scalars are represented by capital letters whereas uh, scalars are represented by capital letters vectors are with the arrow mark above it which indicates direction 